Hello everybody, it's Teresa with Critters Crochet. How is everyone today? It is Wearable Wednesday. And yes, I'm downstairs um, on the couch uh, because this is just where I'm crocheting today. Not up in my office today. <laughs> but it is Wearable Wednesday. And as you know, I am working on... <clears throat> Let me get to the right page here. I am working on the Cozy Cabin Cardi by Britt Schmessing. Smicing. I am so sorry if I'm butchering that last name. Um, this came out of my Crochet World Winter 2023 magazine. And um, it is coming along really pretty. Let me show you what I've gotten to so far. Uh, let's see. Where's the top of this thing? All right, here we go. It's really neat how they have you construct this cardigan. Really cool. Let me back this up a little bit so you can see everything. Whoop! I've got this on my cart and I just caught it on my rug. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> Crud. I just caught the leg of it. There it goes. <laughs> I caught the leg of it on the corner of my rug. Okay, but anywho. What you do is you construct, let me turn it this way. You construct part of the back panel, okay? And so I've got this far on the back panel. And then what you do is you start constructing, you connect on the back, you connect this side and you work your um, shoulder panel and down the front. And then you skip so many stitches and start your next panel on the next side down the front panel on the other side okay so this is what you get then after so many stitches after so many rounds and you get a certain length then you just start going around the bottom of it back and forth until you get the full length which is really neat so right now, so far, this is what it, this is what I have so far. I'm on row, I think, let me see, I'm on row, and I'll get this situated a little bit better in a second. Um, I think I'm on like row 28 or 30, something like that, and you do 56 rows. And I just follow this, the same pattern. So let me see if I can get this. Um, let me stand up and see if I can get this to where you guys can see it a little better. But yeah, this is it so far. And I love how they can have you construct this so everything matches up. And then you've got the sleeves. And then you just, like I said, you just go back and forth, back and forth around the bottom until you get the length that you want, okay? It's so pretty. And I'm using partly Big Twist, and then the uh, variegated is, I love this yarn, is the variegated, but they really work well together, and it's so soft and comfy. So then once you get all the length done, then you'll do all of the ribbing around the edge. So. I really am loving how this is turning out. It's so pretty. And yeah, that's what I've got so far. And the construction of it's really cool. I'm I'm a little concerned about the sleeves, but I don't guess it's going to be too bad. They're going to get kind of be kind of bulky, which is okay because I don't like a sweater that's really tight. I like to have some room, so there's going to be some room in the sleeves. But so far, I am loving this. Loving it. And I got to show you guys, I had to go to Walmart today <laughs> and buy, whoo, where's the end of my thread? What did I do? Oh, I've got myself all wrapped up in yarn. <laughs> Hold on. Um, I got a call from a friend of mine last night or yesterday and she found, I love it when people do this. It's kind of, sometimes it's kind of, but other times it's kind of fun. <laughs> And this time it was fun. 
Um, what did I do with my phone? Oh, here we go. I, she asked me to make a vest and she sent me this picture. Y'all are going to love this. Y'all appreciate this. Those of you who take orders <laughs> and make things for other people. I, I get this all the time. They'll send me, they find these pictures and they'll say, oh, can you make this? I will pay you for it. Can you make this? And I'm like, well, yeah, you, you go pay me for it if I'm going to make it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is what she sent me. Uh, let me see if I can get it better out of my, <clears throat> it's a vest and this is the back of it. Okay. I was able to go to this person's YouTube and find the pattern, but it's all in a foreign language. I, a friend of mine told me she thought it was Turkish. <laughs> so I just sat down before I got on here for the motives, for the motifs, um, the squares. And luckily, along with the video, she had a transcript and subtitles in English. But Here's what's crazy. They think, people think they send you pictures and that you crochet. So, hey, you can just look at that and do it. Now, there's probably some people that can, but I cannot yet. I'm getting there, but not yet. But anyway, these motifs are made up of, they're granny squares, but they're made up of double crochet clusters that go around, okay? In the video, she calls them, um, oh, what was it? Almond, knitted almonds, I think is what she calls it. In the English transcript, it says, well, I got to find it and show you guys because it's, it's hilarious. Um, I've never heard it called that before. And let me see if I can get this to, here we go. Uh, la, 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 la. let me see. Choose me. For double crochet, she uses the word knit. She says, I double crochet, we would say, I double crochet more, then I draw two chains in between. She says, I knit and then two chains in between. Knit what? <laughs> it's funny. Yes. Okay. Double, in the English, in the translation, in the transcripts, it says to double crochet, but instead of saying double crochet clusters, which with hers, it's two doubles together that make a cluster. So just say two, you know, instead of two double crochets together, she calls it an, a double almond. I had to, I was reading that and I thought, I watched the video as I read it. Double almond is a double crochet cluster, two together. <laughs> and then, then she went down and she said, one row, you're going to have eight of those clusters. Okay, this is the translation. This way actually groups eight handrails. She's calling a double crochet a handrail. I had to really do some thinking reading this to figure out a handrail. What is that? <laughs> so this has been really fun trying to figure out all these different words that she's using. Um, so yeah. Double almond and handrails. Handrails means double crochet. Double almond evidently means a cluster. <laughs> so I think I've got it figured out and written out the way I can understand it. <laughs> so, and she wants it done in the same uh, colors. So I went to Walmart today and they're re I checked it out between their mainstay and their Red Heart Super Saver. Usually Red Heart is kind of scratchy. And I know this is going to be an outer garment, so it really, I didn't want it real scratchy, but it didn't have to be like silky soft. <clears throat> but the Red Heart Super Saver was softer than the mainstay. 
And that's usually the other way around. So I ended up getting Red Heart Super Saver. And in the three different, in the two shades of blue and the white. And um, I'm going to start, I'm going to practice on those motifs today and see if I can get those going. So, um, and maybe work on my vest a little bit too. So there we go, guys. That's what I'm up to today. Um, <clears throat> I am doing this wearable Wednesday, in case you didn't know, anybody new here, uh, and I will link them in the description box below. I started doing wearable Wednesdays, um, oh man, maybe in over the summer last summer, or did I wait till the fall? Can't remember. It's been several months, but I joined in with Heather from Strings and Threads, Jess from J Hook Magic, and Kenyatta from Kenyatta Creates, and we have decided to do this to help us get better at making wearables. And man, has it helped! Um, I'm learning how to customize for my size and all of these things, so it's been really awesome. Um, also. Uh, Oh, let me think here. Um, Crystal from, oh my goodness, I've, I haven't referenced her channel in a while and now I'm forgetting it. Um, hold on, I will figure it out. Um. Why can I not think of her channel? That's ter- Oh, that's terrible. I am feeling awful. Okay. That's really bad. Let me go down here and look a second. Um, oh, man. Okay, wait a minute. Nope. I'm going to look right here. Because I could probably find it quicker on this, on my list. Uh... Mm, 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 mm. I apologize. I This just popped in my head and I have to find it or it's going to drive me insane. Are you guys like that? You get something stuck in your head and if you can't figure it out, it'll drive you nuts until you do. So this shouldn't take me but a second to find. I said it shouldn't take but a second. And Crystal, I apologize. I am so sorry. I feel awful. I should not be forgetting this. Where, oh where. I know I've got it. It's in my watch. It's on my watch list. Watch later list. I kept it there. But for some silly reason, I'm not finding it. Huh. Oh, that's crazy. That is crazy. Crystal! It should have been right here. Well, anyway, I promise you I will find it and I will, I will tag her with the other ladies in the description box but her name's crystal i just can't remember her channel but she has an amazing tutorial on how to make a top down shirt by using your measurements that is super stinking easy and you get a perfect fit on your on your top every single time 
And that's just, oh, uh, I can't stand it that I can't remember that. Well, I'm not going to I'm not going to keep this going on here like this with you guys. I'm going to actually get off here and I will tag her. Her name is Crystal. You'll see it and then I'll tag it. But Crystal, I apologize for forgetting your channel name. I've been so busy that it's just it's been a while since I've been on her channel. And I just have drawn an absolute utter blank. So anyway, uh, but I will talk to you guys later. I love you and uh, tune in tomorrow for things we're making Thursday because I have another pair of, sweat of uh, slippers to share with you. So talk to you soon. Love you guys. Have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.